Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So I've got this power supply, right, which we made in a previous video. Problem with the power supply is connecting it into the breadboard. It's just stranded wire, right? And the problem is when you try and connect this into the breadboard, it just kind of goes all limp. You can kind of get it in, but you've got like some exposed wire there, and it's just, it's not great. So I mentioned that you could solder some solder onto the tip to make it a bit more solid, a bit more like, you know, the, um, the battery connectors. So when you when you connect these into the breadboard, you can see it's just solid core cable. So it just goes straight in, nice and easy, and they're in. All right. So this is what I wanted to achieve with this. So what I did was I've, I've taken you know you see these cables which you use just you know for breadboard connections and stuff like that. So what I've done is I've, I've pushed it into the cable itself and then taken the excess and wrapped it around it and then put some solder on it. I mean don't get me wrong, it looks terrible, but that's what electrical tape is for, right? <laughs> just wrap some electrical tape around it and no one knows. So and then. I have, you know, just straight, simple, easy breadboard connection, which I can easily connect in and out of everywhere. Yeah, so it connects fine, right? And then this is quite strong. I'm pulling it a fair amount of force, way more than it's ever going to go through, and it survives. So let's do it together, um, just so. So I'm going to cut off this part. Right, let's just get rid of this. Right. Strip it again, right? Here's my, here's the cable, here's the connector, right? So if I just try and kind of get it in the middle here, doesn't matter too much. The only thing that matters is that I push it in. So you can see it's going in. And then now, if I wrap this cable around, there we go. And I mean, realistically, if I just put some tape over that, that'd probably last, wouldn't it? But I'm going to do the right slash wrong thing and <laughs> chuck some solder on it. Okay, so I'm not going to have any success like this anymore, but I don't think that's going to come out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap some electrical tape in it, let's be honest. Let's just test it with an actual LED. There you go. Okay, works fairly well. If you've watched all the way to the end, thank you for watching. Cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching. and. I now have a fully functioning breadboard power supply. See you in a bit. Peace.